What it is, it's your boy Dutch the Damon, and you now watching Damon Time with Dutch. On today's episode of Street Stories Uncut, we over East Baltimore, up the hill with it, man. Now, this situation took place many moons ago. I was over East Baltimore in that real ghetto, but before... I hop off in the storytelling mode. I'm going to go ahead on and run the shout outs down for the people who have been supporting the channel through Cash App. First up on the list, we got the brother James Thomas. This brother been supporting since day one. Sent his hard earned money in. Yeah, bless the channel through Cash App, man. Appreciate you, man. James Thomas, man. Loyal supporter. Next up on the list, we got the brother Brian Atwater. This brother watch all my content, comment on all my stuff. Sent his hard-earned money in through Cash App, letting me know he enjoyed the content. You know what I mean? Appreciate you, brother Brian Atwater. And last but not least, we got the sister Shamika Daniels. This sister love the content. Always supporting the channel, man. Appreciate you, sister Shamika Daniels. Now that we got that out the way, let's get it. Now, when we moved up the hill over East Baltimore, right? I ain't know nobody around that motherfucker. So I used to just sit out on the front just to familiarize myself with the area, take my dog on walks and shit to familiarize myself with the streets, you feel me? Because I'm originally from Highland Ridge Project, but they knocked them down, you dig? So, I mean, it's about to be my new hood for real. But anyway, so I used to just sit out on my front and shit, right? We had this family that lived across the street from us. They was ratchet as shit, but there was a bunch of girls in their house. They mother had like five daughters and two sons for real. And then some of them had kids, so you can imagine how many people used to be up in that house. They used to be deep over there. I used to just sit across the street and let the good times roll. Now they stay having some shit going on over there. Them girls used to fight all the girls in the neighborhood. But I had a big crush on one of them, yo. Her name was Jessica, yo. She was so pretty. She had that real wet, wavy looking hair. Long and pretty. Light brown, sparkly eyes. Light skin. I just thought she was so pretty back in the day. She probably was like a year or two older than me. Like two years older than me, for real. I used to be job scared to talk to her for real. And I knew she had a crush on me. But I guess how close she was to me, because she lived right across the street. I used to be bring, bringing girls from school over my house all the time. And I knew she was going to see that shit for real. So that's 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 one of the main reasons why I ain't holler at her, right? So they used to have little parties and shit, cookouts on their front, all that shit. Now, all the sisters looked good for real, besides one of them, in my opinion. But the two brothers, they were street niggas for real. They was a little older than us. And they brothers used to be trapping in the hood for real. Big Infinities, Lexus, all that shit. Our two brothers was getting a couple of dollars. So fast forward a little bit. One day I'm out on the front. It's probably was like, I'm going to say like 7 o'clock at night. I'm sitting out on my front. Jessica, she on her step sitting across on her front. The only two outside. I remember I was rolling the blunt. She got up off her front and came over and sat on the front with me and shit, right? She's like, yo, can I smoke with you? I'm like, hell yeah. We get to talking about school and all that shit. Old relationships. It's a variety of different shit we talk. We sat on my stoop smoking and talking for hours. After liking this girl, I don't know how long I finally gets the number. Now, I went to Lake Cliff and then she went to Patterson. We went to two different high schools for real. We would sit up and talk on the phone every night till at least 12 o'clock. My mother make me get off the phone. But anyway, one day we set it up, right? We just thought we was going to hook school. She lived right across the street, but her house be full of people. It was only me and my mother, so once my mother go to work, I had a house to myself for real, for real. So that's what we did one day. She had like she was going to school, came to my shit. So my mother had left out and went to work, she came to my shit. We chilled, watched a movie, got it in for real. Yeah, we went on here, got it in. We decided to go ahead and start a little relationship. So I couldn't have been going with this girl no more than like, I'ma say, three months. Now, everybody in the hood is noticing that her brothers, niggas ain't seen her brothers in a minute. Months and months. She ain't seen them, her family ain't seen them. Well, trying to find out word in the street was them niggas took the plug off, ran off when they connect. Ain't nobody seen them. I asked her about it one time, but she had like she ain't wanna talk about that shit. I went on here and left it alone. Well, it had to be around five or six o'clock in the afternoon. What about shall I say the evening? I was in the kitchen washing dishes. My mother made me wash all them fucking dishes, right? So I'm in that motherfucker bitching and complaining about all them fucking dishes, right? When I just hear some shit like the maid, my soul jump out my body. That shit was so loud. I just hear some boom, boom, boom. I'm dropping dishes and shit. That shit made me jump for real. I heard y'all jumping on the floor. That shit was so fucking loud. It sounded like it was in front of my house. But the quicker I heard that shit, the quicker it was over. Shit happened like that. I, I go to my front door after all the commotion and shit, right? I look across the street, I see a pair of legs hanging out the doorway onto the steps. And it's right over at Jessica's house. 
It's so much screaming and pandemonium going on. Out of like fucking shock. I just hurried and ran across the street. I get in front of their house. I can see Jessica Moore's sister. They in the doorway squirming and shit. Blood everywhere. And Jessica is further up the doorway. Look like her fucking leg is dangling. Like dangling off. She was screaming. She looked like she was only hitting her leg, but her sister was hit bad all up the head, y'all. A little sister. Long story short, little sister ain't make it. Niggas damn near blew Jessica's leg off. Old time kind of find out her brothers took the plug off, man. Niggas killed her sister and blew her fucking leg damn near off over her fucking brothers, man. Niggas don't be realizing what they do affect their family members. Lordy was my girl at the time. And we was young, man. That was some scary shit. To this day, shorty leg fucked up. I went to the front one, all that shit. Fucking brothers, them niggas move way out fucking Colorado somewhere. Them niggas ain't never come back. That was some cow shit, though.